In today's episode, the YouTube algorithm will think I'm showing you machine gun fire, a Fiat Panda will be sleeping and I will mispronounce this guy's name. Do you want to give your Miata a bit more personality? Just stick two massive goggly eyes to the headlights. This guy has a customized door opening mechanism in his Chevrolet Silverado. This allows him to move his wheelchair easier in and out of the car. I am pretty sure someone here can make a sick beat out of this. People LS swap everything that has wheels attached to it. But this 400 horsepower Cessna is one of the crazier things to get this kind of treatment. This cameraman getting scared by a top fuel dragster. This is a Mazda Miata with a Jetstream NA2020C kit. It is partly inspired by the classic Porsche slant nose design. Want to build the ultimate sleeper? Just put half caps on your wheels. I am not sure if this is a real Lamborghini or a replica, but this guy is building a rotary, also called Wankel engine, powered Lamborghini Diablo, nicknamed the Wankelgini. Hey guys, we got the Wankelgini out today. This is what Subaru drivers fear the most. Have you ever seen a jet-powered drag racing tank? Okay, I know this is not a real tank, but it's still cool to see something that looks like a tank on a drag strip. In most countries, you can get a ticket for not cleaning snow of your car. You may think snow on its own is harmless, but this is not the case. If the snow melts and freezes again, it creates a layer of ice which can seriously injure other people. So please, clean the snow of your car properly. This is a absolutely gorgeous 3UZ swapped Mazda RX-8 from Russia. Congratulations, you've made it halfway through the video. Consider subscribing and help me reach 500,000 subscribers this year. Thank you. This contraption is called the Redneck Roller Coaster. Essentially, it is a car you can control from the outside, and it is the definition of not safe. <laughs> I have seen a lot of cool modified Fiat's, there are many of them with swapped bike engines, white body kits and so on, but this one is by far the coolest one. This Fiat has been completely changed into a miniature amphibious vehicle by engineers in Poland and utilizes snow tracks from snowmobiles. This guy accidentally hit a bicycle, got confused and thought some random biker was the guy that he hit. Just... 
No, not only Supras have crazy flame-spitting exhausts, Mustangs can do it too. Did you know that a stock Toyota Prius can do a burnout? I'm not gonna lie, this car is kinda sus. Amogus. This guy thought that racing a Fiat Panda like a Formula 1 car would be a good idea. This Mitsubishi Evo running out of place on the RPM counter. You probably heard about the musical road from California. Did you know that Japan also has one? It is located on the same mountain where the famous anime Initial D plays out. In the 1994 Pikes Peak Hill Climb competition, a driver called Leonard Vesholz won in the truck category by over 20 seconds in his modified Ford Bronco. Driver's seat. He was. You can see right from the start he had the thing hung out. He really is aggressive. And I think Leonard really won. That's when they would find themselves getting into trouble. You can see how sideways he got there. You can see it from the end car. You can see it from the up above shot there. He crosses the finish line despite the bobbles. 11.36.63, a new record. Here is a Skoda doing a highway pull against a Lamborghini Huracan. Who do you think will win? That's everything for today. All sources are in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.